Here at the conference, speakers pointed out what at first glance could appear odd. Some governments, including Riyadh, are anxious over the rapid progress being made toward an international deal to end Iran's nuclear weapons program. That's because they believe a deal could lessen pressure on Tehran to end its other objectionable activities, like its support for President Assad in Syria and its involvement in the affairs of other countries in the region. They believe that the U.S. Uh, focus on solely or mainly or overwhelmingly the nuclear component uh, has left the United States blind, deaf, and dumb uh, to uh, what is uh, at times equal, if not a greater concern, of Saudi Arabia and their neighbors. And this is Iran's meddling, interfering, intruding in the domestic affairs of Arab countries on issues that the Saudi Arabians and the others in the GCC uh, say with passion and uh, justification and logic that these are quintessentially Arab issues. The experts here say President Obama will use his upcoming trip to the kingdom to try to allay King Abdullah's concerns. At the same time, they say military cooperation between America and the six members of the Gulf Cooperation Council has never been stronger. The United States is the commercial leader in most military hardware, and we are we only have one rival for civilian airliners. You know, those those two areas we kind of hold an edge, and the GCC members recognize that. The beauty is if they buy um, you know major U.S. end item. They also are drawn into our training system. We wind up training together as peers, as equals. And that, you know, that becomes a lifelong thing. You know, if you want to have true cooperation, it comes down to the most basic thing, which is what language are they going to operate in militarily? Professor Desroches believes military cooperation will remain strong, but he sees a shift away from Washington placing large assets in the region, like military bases and aircraft carriers, in favor of smaller, more mobile assets, like small ships and easily deployable military units. What you want is a nimble, flexible thing that is presence, that is able to react quickly to threats and does not become a target itself. The bigger a military capability becomes, paradoxically, it also becomes more of a target. One area in which Professor Desroches expects growing U.S. GCC cooperation is in setting up a modern anti-missile defense system to protect the kingdom and its Gulf state neighbors from any potential threats. The experts here say that Riyadh has a point when it worries that a possible successful negotiation between the United States and Tehran to stop Iran's nuclear weapons program could leave that country free to meddle in other ways in the region. But they say that defense cooperation between Washington and the Gulf Cooperation Council has never been stronger and is on track to continue growing. Burton Bolag, KSA2, Washington.